Hey everybody, it's John, NY Camper 62 It's been a little while since I did a video on anything going on with the solar power camp, so I thought I'd do one with the uh, refrigeration in mind. Alright, first up, not too long ago, I scored a nice Norcold 0040 True 12 volt refrigerator on eBay for about 350 They run about 600 brand new. It's got a setting of 1 through 5. At 3 to 3.5, it'll keep the interior contents to about 37 degrees Fahrenheit and uh, at about 2, about 40 degrees. Insides, 1.7 cubic feet. There's room for juice and soda or whatever on the side. A little miniature freezer compartment. It'll keep things chilled or refreeze an item. And plenty of room for a couple of days worth of groceries. This model Norcold, by the way, is designed to be installed in yachts, boats, RVs. They're a fairly tough little unit. The manual says it'll draw about 2.7 amps. I found when it's running, it draws about 2.4 to 2.5 amps. All right, next up is the Coleman Thermoelectric Chiller. Uh, it's not a true refrigerator. It will cool things inside to about 35 degrees below the surrounding temperature. But it draws about 4 to a little over 4 amps continuously to do it. I have a mod on this unit. Uh, if you want to check out that video, it's in the list. Okay, with the Coleman thermoelectric chiller running, you can see it's drawing about 4.2, 4.3 amps. Okay, well, the idea behind refrigeration at camp is really to keep my food, beer, and beverages cold without having to buy bagged ice. Ice costs about $1.80 a bag plus the gas to go get it. And if you're going to be somewhere for more than a day or two, which I normally am out here, um, it seems like an unnecessary waste to me. I've already got the solar power, might as well use it. The refrigerator uses about 60% of the power that the thermoelectric cooler would use about 60% of the time on average. For a compact solar system, that's a good savings in power. Thanks for watching.